Okay, make sure everything is working. Yep, hear myself, excellent. Alright, hello everybody! Welcome back to another adventure with Sven and Morthos, episode 18. I am so sorry, I have not been very consistent with my schedule as of late. Um, IRL has, you know, been its headache of a self. And uh, making sure I'm taking care of both myself, my partner, and all the stuff going on. And uh, just ensuring that I'm not putting myself on stream when I'm not in the headspace to do it. Because that's not fair to y'all um, in terms of like what the expectation of what y'all come here for. Because I know there is a kind of an understanding of um, a casual chill stream where um, I'm not in a piss poor mood and so oh that's part of the reason there in addition it's not fair to you know the characters that i'm playing especially when i'm doing more role play heavy stuff especially with you know baldur's gate so that's partially the reason why i've been very <clears throat> off and on with streaming um but i'm doing my best you know doing my best to stay on some form of schedule get streams going and even if it's not on the specific days that I already specified on my my schedule, trying to at least get a consistent amount of streams per week. And, you know, I've, I feel like I've gotten a bit more of a rhythm again with playing Stardew with Augusta. Um, but that's kind of like the intro to what's been going on IRL. But um, Virgil, thank you so much for being here. I see you. I'm so happy to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um surprise i should say um so captain and i always butcher their name like mira i believe yeah captain mira i want to say moira half the time and i don't know why but uh, i'm gonna give them a quick shout out because captain mira has graciously given me a gift and that gift is a new emote now there's good news and there's bad news the good news no, is, no, 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 it's an amazing no, no. Evo. No, 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 no. I'm going to run out of stamina. 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 No, 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 no,
So thank you so much. But with that, I will transition the screen over to Baldur's Gate screen. So last we left off, which is an excellent question. Uh, we, be I believe, yeah, we had just finished up uh, defeating Kethric Thorm <clears throat> and raiding uh, the Moonrise Towers. Um, we successfully defeated Kethric Thorm and um, the Avatar Miracle. Uh, however, due to some uh, weird phenomena that kept happening, uh, Jahira passed away. And being that she passed away at the end of the boss fight, and I'm not doing uh, reloads unless absolutely necessary. Uh oh. Yeah, great. Are we doing this again? Hold on a second. Keep. Uh, see if I can fix this again. And it did screen capture. Did that. Okay, transition that back. See if that works now. I've been having an issue where um, my stream doesn't want to buffer. So essentially, when I'm on the game, the uh, stream itself is just like kind of dead in the water. I don't know what's causing it. I've the last time I had this problem, I just kind of like redid the. Uh, the stream labs, uh, like I kind of reset, did a reset on it a little bit, and that seemed to fix it. Um, but we'll see if it works today. If not, I'll have to figure that out. But essentially, we are on the pathway to going to Act Three, essentially. And I know I say essentially a lot. <laughs> I just keep repeating shit. I'm not. I haven't gotten into like roleplay headspace yet. I'm kind of just getting my bearings and figuring out where we are, where we're going, all that fun stuff. Uh. But let me see. Yeah, because we ignored the Gith Yankee egg. We didn't do that. Didn't have much of a reason to, since Lazel is not a part of the team. Um. And we're still on track for that. We're dealing with Starion still, Karlak. Shadowheart, we surprisingly managed to uh, save. I mean, not surprisingly. I think things went out went pretty well as far as uh, getting through. Yeah, there's this. Where is that? What? Where am I supposed to do that? Hold on a second. Necromancy of Thay. Because I know there's a place you can actually continue this quest. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, so it's Act 3 that I'll continue this quest. That's fine. Uh... Oh uh, yeah, that was another thing. We uh, Isabel was another casualty of um, the mistakes that happened earlier in Act 2 um, and then the continuation of that story. So I actually did look it up. And so the fact that we failed at protecting Isabel at um, the Last Light Inn basically locks in the fate that awaited her. There was no way to avoid it. So... Uh, I know I was kind of complaining about that last time in the sense of if she was potentially savable, but uh, apparently it is just straight up, nope, she's not savable, so not much we could do there. Uh, you know, so we did succeed at that, so why, ha like, what do I do next to get that to go? Lift the shadow curse. I'm just kind of going through right now and uh, making sure I'm not missing any... Uh, quests or finishing up any in act two because once you go to act three um the you know the the you can't go back essentially so i just want to make sure i'm covering all the bases okay so it is just leaving so that's all that is cool 
Um, yeah, we got to talk to Arabelle. We found that. Uh, so many people died. Oh man, it makes it makes me feel bad every time I like reflect on how many people died um, because of my fuck up and at, at the last light in. Um. Okay, so we have to go. We still have to do that quest. Do him. Yep, did that. Uh. Yeah, I haven't found the other book. Not a too big of a deal. Indeed. Okay. So it seems the last thing we have to do is just go find that hidden treasure over here. So I'll probably do that. And then uh, we'll go from there. I just want to kind of double check. So the thing that sucks that I had, hadn't realized originally was uh, due to the fact that we uh, lost so many people at the last light in. Um, <laughs> we don't get a... What's the word I'm looking for? We don't get a merchant here. Like, Withers is a merchant, sure, but uh, he's not a useful merchant. And so we don't get to enjoy selling all the loot in this area and make a ton of money, which kind of sucks. Because we can't go back. Like, I can collect everything, don't get me wrong. Um, but the thing that sucks about that is I have to do it in such a way... Oh, is it in here? Okay. Yeah. So I gotta get up into this area. Uh, it's the most effective way to get over there. Or can I just click and point? Nope. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, I think I need to actually go back in here and go up the stairs. So, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get down. Huh? Ah, my knees. Uh. Let's go over here. And then we need to get up in this area. So we'll go over here and try to make our way around. Honestly, Sven should be able to do this by themselves just fine. So I will do that. Y'all wait there, hold on a second. Sven and I got this. We'll figure it out. We are nimble, we are quick, we will jump around on a pogo stick. Do, 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 do. Eh. Yeah, so much loot I could collect. Nice to have a merchant just sell it to you automatically. Uh, yes, here we go. We and up we go. What the hell? Oh, I was like, game. What the hell is this place? Hmm. Well, I uh, don't mind if I do. Ah! Oh shit! This is a mimic. That's not good. Ow, my face. All right, bitch. Rip out your fucking tongue. That's right. Ain't nothing you can do now. Eight shit. And another one. Hiya. That's right. And you can't do nothing. Boom. Another one. And you did. Nothing you can do against Sven. Stained letter. Uh, it must be, uh... Oh, is this, uh, Kethrick's partner's room? Huh. Uh... Alright, cool. I suppose we'll loot. An open heresy! Heresy, I tell you! Uh... Hmm. Fascinating. 
Take that. Uh. Sure. I'll take all the goodies. And. Uh, ha! Okay, so now we gotta figure out where the fuck this uh, secret is. Because it's up in this tower. Somewhere. Hmm. Uh, do I have to go up higher? I'm gonna try over here. If I have to, I'll just, you know, look it up. Be like, okay, how the fuck do I get to this? Uh, let's go over here. How do I hear sad noises? Oh, we're over here now. So if I go up, well, hold on. Uh, again, it's in here. Unless it's way down. Oh, wait. You know what we need to do? Hold on. You know what we need to do? We need to go down and uh, rescue people. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Alright. Sven, come along. Yeah, Sven will eventually make his way to us. Or their way. They should, at least. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> you know what we need to do? We need to go downstairs, actually. And check in on the prisoners. Because, uh, I don't... We didn't free them. Alright, excellent. Yeah, because when uh, I came down here initially, we did not free the prisoners. We uh, left because I didn't want to deal with uh, having to kill everybody and blow our cover. Um... When we were trying to figure things out. So it looks like they have left. Interesting. I wonder what uh, happened to them. Nope, they're okay. Let's see this then again, uh, one of the prisoners is not exactly a good person. But we'll also take the opportunity to uh, loot. Aha! Grab that. Asian plans, we don't need that. Uh, What's keep, hiding here? Nothing in there. There's a log. Yeah, Wolverin Bungle, if I remember correctly, is a piece of shit. I think. That or it's the other guy. I don't remember who. But it's a good thing I remember this. Otherwise, we'd be missing out on a little bit of some good loot. Grab all this. Like, we may not be able to get uh, everything, but at least we can get the good stuff. Let's go, Astarian. It's been a while. Guidance. 17. Let's go. Thir with a 31. Open it up strong. Yeah, get all that good stuff. We'll get this one. Another one. 11 for 23. Nice. Easy peasy, lamb squeezy. Uh, nothing in there. Pouch. Nothing. What's this? Oh, okay. And nothing in here. Grab this. Oh, yeah. Wolbrin's hammer. Okay, I think that is pretty much everything important I can think of down here. Yeah, so we'll just head up to Moonrise Tower. Leave the heart of the absolute alive. Oh. Thanks to you, you did <laughs> well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead. And they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. So this is something I really love when I'm playing this game, is there are times where I'm not in control of Sven, and it'll be other characters that get, like, the 
interactions. And it's really fun because not only does it give some variety in terms of who gets to talk, but it also really uh, challenges me to remind myself of like who is the person being talked to and what are their influences and connections based upon the environment around them. So like Sven would have one way of responding to uh, the dream visitor, but a Starian is different than Sven. And so it's very, very fun when this stuff happens to me because it's like, oh, now I got to think about, well, how is a Starian going to respond? So let's see. And I will put the vote up. So again, for those that are not aware, um, I do polling votes for Baldur's Gate 3 where you guys get to choose an option that you would like to see from the you know available choices. And um, I interpret that in the same way that I interpret my own influences in the game as that of the tadpole having an influence on the character. So whatever you guys choose, I have to take that at, at face value, essentially, as if I was the one who said it, and now I have to interpret it and uh, work it into the story in terms of how I understand these characters. Um, there are other ways to also interpret it, too. It's not a guarantee that you're thinking of, like, oh, this is the tadpole influencing a starian. It, in this case, it could be like, well, this is what a starian would do based upon who the character is. But um, so this is a, an example of uh, one of the fun things I do with this series is um, putting out the vote. I don't expect people to do it. And um, I mostly take the time when I'm waiting for votes to come in to um, break down and think about, oh, well, this is this is the option that I think would work best regarding everything I know about the character and what's happened. Um, with Sven, it's a bit more in-depth, and I have a bit easier time with it because I understand their character um, uh, more personally, whereas Astarian and you know, other characters, not maybe not so much. So I will take a second to kind of go through these and think about it. Um, again, if a vote comes in, um, I will t accept that straight up. Um, or if uh, you're watching on phone and you're not able to do the vote, vote um mechanic via um, Steam, or not Steam, uh, Twitch. Uh, I do also accept uh, chat votes as well, like just saying like, hey, I'd like number one, number two, number three, or whatever. So let me think about this for a second. Halcyn's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Mm. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet. But its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the absolute, the chosen, all. <laughs> I like how we didn't even get a chance to actually teleport. It just uh, stopped us in our tracks. Let's try that again. Okay. I've got a long road ahead. Yeah. Let's uh, start making our way. Actually, we're gonna go to camp and take a long rest, just to be on the safe side. And uh, we'll talk to everybody too, just to get a rundown of how everyone's feeling. Hey, Shadow Art. The shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shark can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. Anything can be beaten with enough no tenacity. Alright, just checking in. We're doing a little check in before we move on. Oh, hey, well, I'll talk to you in a second. Wish we could stay and see what this place will be like without the shadows. But it's beautiful. 
No rest for the wicked, huh? Sadly, no. Alright. Anything more you want to share about Gortash real quick? He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid. Brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just... It felt like a good fit. I kept him safe and he paid me well. Well enough to move into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him. Trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He what a bitch. Right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil. Evil. Bastard. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna kill him. Alright, Will, how about you? Two of us. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Uh... So... Anything you want to share about Gortash and Orin? You know Orin? about them. I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. I mean, knowledge is power. Um... So, by the way, Mizora, uh, we, had, we had a talk with her. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? Uh, that's a hard question. Hmm. <laughs> so here, here's the thing. This is uh, more of a Sven question than a me question. So... I have to think about, okay, what is Sven's response to this in regards to their home? So when I answer this, it's not my personal feelings towards it. This is how I interpret Sven would respond to it. Um, so <laughs> let me think about this one. That's a, that's a loaded question there, Will. Goddamn. Because here's the thing, when I make characters, when I do D&D &E characters, I don't really think about hardcore about every little detail that I am going to be having for this character. So in the case of uh, Sven, I have, you know, never really thought about, oh... What was their home like? What was growing up like? Like, those aren't details I think about in specific. So when I'm, when this question in front of me, now I'm thinking like, okay, what was Sven's childhood like? Were they in a place where they felt safe, comfortable, and loved? And it would be a place they'd be like, no, I would fight for it. Or would it be a place of... You know, a child that is scorned by the village will feel its warmth 
when they bur by burning it to the ground, essentially. And considering who Sven is in regards to the very go with the wind kind of mentality, I have to ask myself: Okay, is this based in trauma? Is this something? Is is the way they behave now um, influenced by something that happened in the past? Ah, oh, man. Hmm. I hmm. I definitely think it's actually number two. And just because I need to think about it doesn't mean I'm going to give all the details now, am I? <laughs> it is. And I did. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon? A fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. Hmm. Let continue. By ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Duskhawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Oh, now you want my help, Will. Okay, I suppose. But we're having a talk about this. Uh... Like, all right. The shadow of the mount. Five groups of five figures, each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. All right, the ad should be done. Uh, so, real quick, when it comes to this series, I always try to ensure that when ads proc, I pause the game essentially, where you know I don't continue dialogue, I don't really continue talking about stuff or doing combat or anything like that, because I don't want to create this idea that I expect subscriptions to bypass that, so you everyone can engage with the full story that's happening. However, I don't always pay attention to when that pre-roll timer goes off and. It, prox one and i can't always predict when the game is going to put me in a long-winded dialogue so i apologize that it, uh when these ad breaks happen sometimes they're literally in the middle of these dialogue things and it gets cut off um like i i <laughs> i really wish i could just like pause the game entirely when i see that happen um but Sadly, it is not something I am able to do. And to those of that say, like, well, just turn off ads, you know, part of this is, is the fact that this is a, kind of a job for me, and ads are the most consistent form of gaining some form of income, so that's why I do have them on. Um, so I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, so definitely a really 
interesting um, dialogue with Will as far as getting or getting a connection as far as understanding where they they were coming from with their choice and also getting to creep in the influence and possible uh, pulling of the tadpole influence on Will a bit more because we've had a hard, hard time getting him convinced and honestly I'm surprised he actually found an interest in Sven romantically because of kind of how it's butting heads a lot so <laughs> this we might get Will to be a part of the uh, the tadpole squad now hmm Yeah, I mean, honestly, Missouri doesn't give a shit about Baldur's Gate, so why? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Oh. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Missouri's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. What's up, Chungus? Good to see you, buddy. Get you a shouty outy. Uh, what? We did it. Thanks for all the support. 10 out of 10. Huh? I don't know what that banner was for, but oh well. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm at a, a loss right now. Like my brain just kind of farted. Uh... Oh, sub goals. Really? Did I get another? Did another subscription come through? But also, hello, Miss Finn. Good to see you as well. Get you a shouty outy too. Meant to flash bang of the banner. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just like. What? Interesting though. I'm I'm surprised I hit the sub goal. I don't because the last because on my feed the last one for uh, that subscribed was uh, Tubby Tarts Gamer, aka Crash. Chungus, did you just resub? Oh, you re-upped yourself. Oh, hell yeah! Well, thank you, buddy. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Sorry, I, d I was just so confused because I didn't see anything that procced the subscription. So I was just like, I was so confused. I was like, what, what happened? But uh, yeah, thank you so much, uh, dude. Like, I appreciate it. Um, I guess uh, now is... Yeah, self sub exactly. I swear, I get a lot of those. Which And it's, it's weird because I sh it should um, proc a uh you know a sound alert too uh that's the wrong one oh i'll look into that later but i'm also uh chungus so real quick and this goes for um anybody who uh, was a part of the 24-hour live stream and um was one of the winners of the item we have them done um we're just kind of dealing with financial stuff right now as far as um getting them shipped out so that's kind of where we're at there um but since I know you, IRL, and I also know Mr. Perso, IRL, you two were uh, also winners of those uh, items. I will get those to you eventually. Um, the Mr. Perso uh, has or should be receiving one of the Kickstarter games we backed recent, like a year ago. I'm just waiting for them to reach out and uh, let let me know when they have it. So um, maybe once they get it, if uh, we want to organize a get together. Uh, we can do that, and I can also get you guys your uh, your keychain gifts. Um, but we can talk about that later, IRL, or um, on Discord, whatever works. But um, yeah, again, thank you so much for resub and Chungus. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you are doing well, my friend. And Miss Finn, thanks for being here and uh, <laughs> letting me know that was, in fact, what it was. And I appreciate it. Honestly, like, be this is being the first giveaway I've done as a streamer. It's like... So it's fucking terrifying like there's so much to do and so much to keep track of and make sure everything's correct it's like oh boy <laughs>
but I want to assure everyone we're still uh, we've still got it in the works we're not forgetting about it it's not gonna go and disappear like it may take time but it will happen thank you my friend I appreciate it also just so, because uh, a couple, got you some some peeps here I got a new emote thanks to Captain Mira uh, I had uh, one uh, giveaway of theirs on one of their streams for a uh, free emote commission and this is uh, what they had made for me and I fucking love it it's adorable <laughs> but um hell yeah there you go but um yeah so I have it set as a sub emote however um, there is a way to bypass that um, if y'all have uh, 500 channel points y'all can do the uh, unlock a random sub emote and that should give it unlock it for you as well so you don't have to spend like actual money to uh, subscribe uh, because again I don't expect people to do it and um, I just want everyone to know that they're welcome to come here and hang out and I just enjoy you know the fact that people are here but with that we'll get back to Will and their vulnerability let's see so do, 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 do. uh so what about uh, your father? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. What a bitch. After, he said only one word. Go. <laughs> so I did. You know, that's fair. It's, it's like, ooh, do you want the emote or do you want that at ooh You know, <laughs> you know, I actually I hadn't actually thought about that in terms of the pricing, but that's funny. Good. Co like, you've just really got to really got to think about that one now, don't you? <laughs> Unless it's Chef Dan and Chef Dan will just come in with 10,000 points and and uh, hit me with fucking 10 of them. Uh, not that I didn't mind. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's just it's just hilarious to me. Uh, I don't like how um, I'm stuck on these options. Like, Sven does isn't gonna doubt Will on um, taking down 25 cultists. Like, that's not hard to believe. And um, they're not really one. I mean, I guess we'll validate them. Like, Sven, at least validate Will. I guess. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. I'd call it more foolish. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus. And ooze the rot of dis. Yeah. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. When we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. Damn. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Hmm. So was it? This, was this actually how you lost the eye? It is the one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. Hey, all right, we can talk about this later. I understand. Uh, so... Oh boy, do I want to do this now? We'll talk about this later, Will. I want to I want to double check some stuff and just make sure I've got the the skills to do it. We're going to talk about, about this later cuz you can't just come and demand and I show you or spend memories uh when you've been resisting uh like my help this entire time. So uh don't you don't get to be a hypocrite, Will. I never saw myself as a banisher of shadows before. <laughs> I was always more of a lurker in, historically. Ha! Huh. Alright, just checking in, Astarian. Now, we're just doing check-ins right now with everybody, chick itty chatting And uh, then uh, we're going to take a nice long rest. Hey, Dame. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Oh, please don't hit me. Feel my voice rattle your bones as oh. I proclaim our victory. Oh, okay. 
Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Oh, thank you. Uh, where's the silver light? The moon magic, come on! Listen to the subtle vibrations of the moon maiden thumping within your heart chamber's friend. She works her magic there. Aw. But I want, I want a cool anime, or we want a cool anime glow up like you had. That was dope. Where's that for us? Come on. Uh... So, when are you and Shadowheart going to talk? In due time. Mother Saluna will tell me when the time is right. Painful truths should be handled with some decorum. You're not wrong. Where's Halson? Daniel! Your path leads away from me, I sense. <laughs> I just saw Carlic like dancing. Perhaps one day you will see the fruits that your victory has sown here. Probably. I'm guessing Halson just stays back at Moonrise, which is interesting. Unless they're up somewhere else. Hold on. I should also go say hi to Scratch, the goodest of boys. Ah, Arabelle. Leave me alone. Okay, geez, I'm sorry. Yeah, so Jahira is dead, sadly. Uh, what ended up happening there, and again, I don't really know what really happened. All I know is that she died uh, at the end of the boss fight to something I'm not totally certain about. So, we have lost lost her, which sucks. Alright, just making sure no one's up here. Alright, sleepy sleep time. Oh. Are there, is there anything new with this? Holy crap! We got raiders! Raiders coming in! Vexing All the women, and Jade Reaper! And everything uh, thank you for the raid! Welcome in, raiders! I am your illustrious host, Morthos the Demon. Uh, we are playing some Baldur's Gate 3 today. We've been pl doing this series with the Adventures of Sven and Morthos for uh, 18 episodes now. So, uh, <laughs> nope, somebody got me. If you don't want spoilers or are confused so what's going oh on, that's partially why. <laughs> Getting some good shit in. Yeah, so Frosty Tools got that at uh, shout out for you. Uh, welcome home. I hope you're having a great night. I am. It is, it is good to be back into the game. I like. I've been very on and off with streaming, and I had taken a break from this ep particular series last week. So it feels good to get back into it and start up again. I hope your day is going just as well. Um, how was your uh, stream? What were you streaming? Like, how did that all go? And to those raiding in, um, just as a kind of a. Ah, uh, well, damn it. I am at a loss for words today, I tell you. Um, so, stealing some words from uh, another great streamer that I know, Alex VT, uh, because uh, fla mimicry is the highest form of flattery. Um, I understand the fact that y'all are coming in out of another stream, so if you need to raid and run, raid and lurk, take a break, do whatever you need to do, uh, please go and do that. I care about you more as people than numbers on my screen and completely understand that you have IRL, IRL stuff to take care of and do not have an expectation that just because you raided in that you must stay and, and stick around. But if you do, I hope you enjoy. I, it is, we are always welcome to have more people in the void and I hope y'all enjoy uh, some Baldur's Gate. But we finished up Cult of the Lamb and went to Phasmophobia. Hell yeah. I have not played Cult of the Lamb in a, quite a while. I like loaded it up once for um, trying out the Sins of the Flesh update. And I haven't touched it since. But I definitely enjoyed the game. Like, like uh, it, 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 ha it, it had a, lo like a, has a lot of potential. What the fuck is that? Hello? Hey, Malin? Hi, Scratch. How are you, baby, uh, baby boy? His tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. But also, Phasmophobia, also hilarious. Uh, how is that game? Like, I haven't seen much uh, 
much of it since like for around a year or so like have they have they added new stuff to it or how is that game going but uh anyway we are going to be quick and nimble yoink yeah easy peasy all right 20 let's go what we got yoink haha <laughs> he gives in and surrenders his find to you. Oh, sandals. Where'd you find these? I'll give you some pets. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. You're a good boy. But anyway, there's so much more to Sins of the Flesh than I was ready for. Yeah, Sins of the... Like, they added a lot of stuff, surprisingly. Like, it was crazy. Also, uh, great. My game's buffering again. Why does it do that? I don't understand. Okay. Anything you want to say, Dame Ayland? Do adding a D to that. What do you know about me? Ah, here we go. You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard, chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz. Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You. Tethered to two others, someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Jeez, everyone's just fucking asking me to help out now, even though they don't like me. Come on, Shadowheart, we're having a conversation about this too now. Maybe, I don't know if I can. Um, but anyway, honestly, I feel, love playing Faz and hunting ghosts. I tend to play solo, professional, complete the Easter event. Hell yeah. How... <laughs> I, I have not actually played Phasmophobia. I only, like, watched Let's Plays um, when it was, you know, air, more popular popularized. Um, so I actually, I don't really know much about the changing, uh, you know, just the changes that are made. So please, if you're, if you're willing to share, what is the Easter event? Like, what is that? What did it entail? What did it involve? If you do not mind sharing. But anyway, so yeah. Uh, yes, you're what fine, Shadowheart. We will, I will allow you to share this with Sven, even though you don't trust me. Asshole. Your mind joins with Shadow Hearts. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. All right, let's go. Baby Shadow Heart. Yeah, they do not like uh, these uh, fucking bitches. Brainwashing and manipulation. Something sparks in your memory. Teachings about Salunite rites of passage, about how they would abandon their children out in the wilds and force them to find their way home. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. 
It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young, impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman, one who knows what must be done. My parents. I need to save them. Women support women. But yeah, poor Shadowheart literally kidnapped as a child and uh, brainwashed and uh, manipulated into being uh, something she would have absolutely hated. And honestly, rightfully so. The Sharns are not good people. Uh, to those that have been following this series for a while, when we were in the Sharn Temple, uh, you would see that there were tons of corpses. And they weren't remnants of the evil undead that were there. No, 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 no. Those were left over from the Sharns that were there. And if anyone knows numbers, you know that there's no way the amount of corpses that were there could all be bad people. But, um, real quick, we'll hop back over and catch up and chat. Uh, let's see. Well, you need to use the ultraviolet flashlight to find the bunny's footprints. Find all the prints to tell you which nest it might be at. Then use the dots projector to cause the bunny to be solid enough to take a photo for each location the bunny is at. Then collect the trophy. Oh, that's cool. I, lo I love when they add little Easter eggs and uh, changes to the uh, gameplay because it, it keeps things fresh. Also, respectfully, respectfully. Game Allen's kind of thick. Just saying, like, that's a curve. Respectfully. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, that's really cool, Vex. Uh, wait. What's your preferred username call out? Vexing Jade Reaper? Vexing Jade Reaper? I like to just uh, check in just so I have an idea. I know, right? Respectfully. <laughs> like, just. Damn. Like, she could give Carlac a run for her money. But yeah, if, if you have a preference for a username call out, <laughs> dead ass. Don't mind whether it's called me as long as they're comfortable with it. Okay. Um, I'll probably call you uh, Reaper then. Because I know a Vex, I know a Jade. Uh, I mean, I could go Vexing. Whatever you prefer. But, uh, anyway, I just noticed that when I, when I looked over, I was like, damn. Let's see. Jackie's husband, by the way, hell yeah. But I uh, welcome in both of you. Uh, da -da -da. It's like, don't worry, Shadow, I got you back, yo. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. Ooh. Most that I have friends with the name Vex call you Vexing. Okay. Yeah, I'll go I can call you Vexing if you if you You'd like other or reapers or whatever you'd prefer and like eventually one will stick in my brain that's just what i'll always default to but um if you have if there's preference i always like to double check first because otherwise once i stick once i pick a name like i kind of like associate the name with the person i'm referring to it's very hard for me to undo that it's really annoying it's like it's like i can't change the file name essentially whatever sticks hell yeah uh, it's like, hmm. The spear. How do you have it? I threw it into the shadow fell. Shar is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shar calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. 
Now go and claim your own. <coughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Well, thank you, Dave. Uh, so, the thing is, we've got the fucking blood of Lathander. How does this compare? Uh, here we go. So, 4 to 11 damage. That's 4 to 9. Advantage on wisdom saving throws and perception checks. The moonbeam and the moonboat. Um... Man, like, I prefer the Blood of Lathander in all honesty. Can I wield it? Need a stretch, but I'll keep you up on the phone, so I'll still be listening. Sounds good, Reaper. You have a good lurk, then. Uh, thank you so much for raiding in. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, do whatever you gotta do. Like I said, I don't have any expectations that if you uh, raid in that you have to stick around. Uh, I understand that IRL is important, and, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, thanks for stopping by, though. I greatly appreciate it. Now, the question is, who do I give this fucking spear to? Because, honestly, I don't... Like, can I wield spears? I can. Hmm. I have dark... Don't I have dark vision? Yeah. Okay, so I don't need this anymore if I'm wielding this. What other ones do I got? Hmm. Uh, self immolation. Uh, movement speed, weapon attacks. I have that one already. Hmm. Sure, I'll just increase my movement speed a little bit more for the time being. Uh, da, 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 da. anything else I can pop on? No. Okay. And another ad prox. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break since that ad ad uh, popped up. Um, we'll be back in a second. Uh, we'll probably chit chat with um other people in camp just to see if there's anything more to say. Um, and then we'll probably make our way on to uh, Act Three. So we will be back in just a second.
Okay, I have returned. Sorry about the wait. IBS is not a fun thing to have. But we'll get back into it. Okay. We just talked to Dame Aelin. Shadowheart, are you okay? Up, oh, that's Starion. Still breathing, despite everything. Shadowheart! I've been lied to my whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. Ah, you were manipulated. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. Part that Shah denied to me. Hmm. Like, hey, at least try to learn. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me? We'd better press on for now and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. And what you do what you gotta do. You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Hmm. Okay. I wonder, can we talk about the tadpole? Fine. What's on your mind? Hmm. Uh. Alright. We'll leave it at that. Real quick, how many inspirations we got? We have four. Do a quick save. I want to talk to Will and see if we can convince him. I'm sorry. I might have come on a little strong with the dance invitation. I was imagining my younger days, prancing about without a care in the world. We may never be dance partners, but we have fellowship, and I wouldn't trade that for all the gold in the gate-counting house. Well, that's enough sentiment for one day. What did you need? The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. See, well, the problem is you want monogamies. Sven isn't about that shit. Like, that's fine. You do you. But you expect monogamy the same on an equal level. That's not Sven's thing, so that's why this won't work. Uh, so, what do you I think? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Interesting how I don't have a minus one from that one. Hmm. Alright. We will go with this one. Oh, man. Come on, Will. You can't, you can't just demand I help you and then just reject me altogether. Let's fucking go! Yeah! Oh yeah. Just enough. Clip that shit. Let's go, Will. Yes, I suppose we should. Though I'm more than a bit wary. Yeah? Still, I am the Frontier's avowed protector. New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. I will consume what I must to make it so. Fuck yeah! So, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also pay in pain. Uh, I'll talk about this in a little bit, because I don't want Will to hear me. Like, uh... Hello, motherfucker. Hey, Casper. What's up, dude? Welcome in, welcome in. I'll get you a shouty outy. Thank you for the hello. Oop. I know that the shout outs pull the clip every time, but hey, you're a streamer. You've done it before, so you get a shout out. Uh, how's it going? Oh, it's going. We just convinced Let's Will to consume a, uh, consume a tadpole. You're so good because you can camp. Hmm. All right, you take a Starian's place. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, Will and uh, Will and Sven have been ha having this back and forth for a long time about the tadpole, um, and Will hasn't. I've not, I have not been able to convince Will at all to do it. Um. Oh hell yeah! Thank you. That'll be two clips. But um, so. 
I've been trying for a long time, and I'm very surprised that um, we actually got a romance option with Will, uh, like, last couple episodes, just because of how much Sven and Will butted heads over the tadpole thing. And so, the fact that, one, we had this moment where Will, like, and I, you, y'all were here, I, at least I hope you were here for it, um, where Will demands that I, the tadpole, actually help him out, it was just like, it just was so perfect. Oh man, the fucking 19 for an 18, that was amazing. Uh, I love it when dice rolls work out. I didn't even have to pop inspirations. Oh yeah, I hope you're doing well, Casper. Good to see ya. Uh, what do I want to add? Uh... Sure, we'll get we'll get add repelling blast. I'm surprised I haven't done that one yet. And uh, yeah, we'll grab hold monster. I do not like banishment. It doesn't seem to work for me half the time. What spells do we have right now? Pretty good selection. Okay. Doing well. I don't know if I told you, but we had our session zero. We played for like eight hours. Hell yeah! No, you have not mentioned it to me. Uh, so I have no I, I had no idea about that. But I'm glad you all had a good time. We're, we uh, I actually was a part of a session zero um, a couple of weeks ago for a campaign I'm going to be doing with some other uh, streamers, the Haku, Co oh, the Cozy Rat, and a couple other people. And we'll be doing our first session um, Saturday. So I'm definitely excited for that, but I'm glad y'all had a great time with yours. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes, sometimes I wonder. You and me both. Okay. So yeah, we'll talk to everybody, just kind of get, get the rundown. But real quick, Will, guess what? You get to have your first parasite. <laughs> Welcome to the club, buddy. Shadowheart's the only one so far amongst the base origin crew that uh, is not going to take it. And I'm honestly—I don't know what you have to do to get her to take it. I'm not sure, in all honesty. But yeah, Pally, Dan, and me did recently well, or did decently well. Nice. You playing a? Are you playing a bard this time around, or what character are you running this time? Um, well. Okay, so we talked to all these people. We'll go check to see if Halson is back or if he's still hiding. Uh, Halson is still hiding. Okay. So let's head on. Actually, before we do that, I need to make sure Will has equipment. Um. Because otherwise, my boy might get uh, the shit kicked out of him. Trace, ch -ch 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 shield. Uh, hmm. There's embrace, that's heavy armor, so not very useful. For will. Uh, DC rolls. Uh, I'll give you Ketherick's shield, actually. And... Yeah, the only one left is a Starion. Have anything worthwhile? I'm gonna transfer all this stuff over to Will. Yeah. Thank you. Uh... I will give you this, though. <laughs> Looking good, Astarian. Which actually reminds me, I should probably do a setting real quick. As I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, where is it? 
Uh, accessibility. Okay, turn off that. Turn off that. Because we don't need a repeat of uh, the last time that happened. Not that I mind, but Twitch gets mad when I do it. Okay, now we'll head out. I'm playing a paladin named Paladin. <laughs> Lol. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I get it now. I thought Pally Dan and then me were like three separate names, but I get it now. <laughs> Pally Dan, that's good. Pun, 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 pun. Moving in. Yeah, for uh, this per so this campaign, I originally was planning on doing a Gith Yankee Warlock for the campaign, but uh, things are getting a little bit more to, or becoming more of more of a headache than I was willing to deal with. So I uh, decided to scrap that character. Uh, sorry, I gotta figure out where I'm going. Yeah, I just need to head no this way. Back once we start down that road. Yeah, I know. Not much more we can do here, as far as I'm aware. But anyway... Ah, oh, shit! We've been ambushed! It's an ambush! Get ready! Anyway, uh, so I, I scrapped that character. I intend to bring them back at some point. I've got tons of characters in the pocket. But um, so instead of that one, I decided to bring back an old one of mine. And uh, Chungus will actually know this character. But um, I'm bringing back a character named Amar. And they are a, uh, a human fighter. Pretty basic, um, but their story is in back, like... Their backstory is something I've been working on for a while, so it's already a very fleshed out character. Ooh, do I want to... Hmm. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, probably. Woohoo! Good hits. Come on, can't stay idle. Alright, ooh, yeah, let's stun you. Let's, yeah, let's go all in. Really? You ain't going... Oh, no, you are stunned. Fuck yeah. Time for you to go sleep, bitch. Another one. And sure, we'll stab you with a spear. Nice. At this, I'm going to be playing a cleric every time, probably. Lol. <laughs> why is that? Like, wh why specifically a cleric every time? Uh... Yeah, we'll start making our way up. Oh, uh, it's been a while since I've played Baldur's Gate 3, so I gotta... Get back into strategy mode. Form of dread, eh? Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll take a hit. Hoo hoo! Can't even hit us. Uh, no. Pop. Haha! -ha. <laughs> Thank you, Sven. Uh. So they need a 15. No, I'll, I'll, I'll catch it. Eat shit. Ah, oh, bullshit. Okay. Let's get Spirit Guardians up. Um, uh, what are these guys? Are they resisting anything? No. Eat necrotic, bitches. Yeah. Aha! You can't hit shit. Uh, and we'll start making our way. And... Hmm, not gonna do that. Because that would be a foolish move. Plop a healing word into Will. Just to give him some blade ward and protection. Can't do shit. Mm. Oh. Mm. What do we want to do? Fireball! <laughs> Good hit. And we'll teleport right on out of here. Boop. And we'll just 
just hang out here. I'm calling bullshit on that. Cool. Uh, drop you. Ah, uh, too heavy to throw? Damn it, I was really hoping to be able to throw and kill. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a reckless. Still not dead yet, eh? One more! That's right. And then you're next. Where do I go from here? You go over here, Sven. What are you talking about? Uh. Hmm. Wanna go in and hit? Uh, what does this do? Tina, wait, feet away. Charge! Uh, I was hoping it would get them all, but no such luck. Oh well. And push you. Yeet! Ha ha! Dead. You're next. Step stab! Uh, no. <laughs> we are doing pretty good. Also, what happened to my spirit guardians? What? What did I do? What? What the fuck? What caused Shadowheart to lose? Broke concentration? What? Oh, I failed the constitution saving throw? When did that happen? Oh, shit. Uh, we'll take a look here. Yeah, nothing good. Um, uh, Hmm. A little guiding bolt your ass. Pop, pop. Good hit. Ooh, that was actually, that was really good. And we'll make our move. Um. Uh, can we... No. Okay. Boom! Hey, Will, you're up next. Uh, Eldritch Blast. A pop. Didn't go flying, surprisingly. Uh... Oh, he's not proficient? Fuck! Why do I always... I, I always get fucking stuck with this. What happened to you? Hiya! Really? One HP. Just die. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Count on me. Yep, let's go, Karlak. I won't give in. Uh then we'll take care of you next. Stun your ass, that's right. And just keep beating the shit out of you. Another one. Another one. Easy peasy. And we'll just keep make we'll keep on moving. Uh I have line of sight. I do not. Uh hmm. Well, ad break brocked, so I'll give it a second to uh, run through. Just give me so a minute to actually uh, think about what I want to do.
All right, ad break should be done. Sorry, I was just trying to make sure uh, my stream was stable because it was showing unstable connection again. But I think I know what I want to do. So we're going to cast Blade Ward on Will. Fuck, I always forget that Blade Ward is only on yourself, which is dumb. Uh, well then. Well, I'll summon you then. Go get him! Hiya! And we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Pop, pop. Good hit. Keep up the pressure. Um, good there. Oh, you think, eh? Well, guess what? Carlax here. Uh, sure. Thank you for the hydrate, Chef Dan. I appreciate it. I'll take that now. Two week old, unrefrigerated pie. Dumb ways to die. Honestly, that truly is a dumb way to die. He was like, I'm an escape. Oh shit. There's a raging barbarian there. I'm dead. <laughs> you want an elit? Are you satisfied with your elit? Good to see you, Chef Dan. I'll get you a shouty outy real quick. At Chef Dan. Boop, boop. Cleaning house with boy. We'll do a little lurky poo. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much for the lurk. Thanks for stopping by. Hope your day is going well, and I hope cleaning goes well as well. All the wells in the world. Uh, we'll just keep. We'll stab you to death. I'm so glad. Stab, stab. Broke some blinds. Ah, uh, no. Play today. Uh, I, I honestly hate blinds. They're honestly, they always break. Also, Ratchet and Clank. Fuck yeah, I love the OG rap, Ratchet and Clank. Your last taw. Uh, all right. You get a little bit more life to fight. Hey, ooh. Uh, no. Ow. Uh, ow. That was an old one? Well, glad we pulled an old one. I love Ratchet and Clank. Not playing the rest of them because the emulator doesn't like those games. Oh, that sucks. Honestly, I th if I remember correctly, they get a little weird after, after like the third one anyway. November, October. That wasn't too long ago. Yeah, I've heard, um... Uh, what's the second one called? Going Commando. I've heard that one's like one of the most popular ones. I played the original like crazy back in the day, so that's the one I'm most familiar with. Where'd she go? Oh, she's up there. Uh. I'm totally get different for sure. The first is the best before they start streaming. Okay, fair enough. That is a fair statement. I apologize. It's hard to remember who starts when. Like, I honestly forget that, technically speaking, I've been doing this for, like, more than a year now. Because for me, it's like I re really didn't start going, doing it a lot more until, you know, I came back from that long-ass hiatus. So it doesn't feel like I had been doing it that long to justify being like, oh, well, yeah, I've been doing this a while. But being that, you know... I started before uh, Katya Bot started, and it turns out that she was kind of an influence on a lot of people connecting with uh, the stream when I came back. It definitely was just like a, oh, you know, if, now that I think about it, I have been doing this a little while. But, uh, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to keep track of when people start, you know, so I apologize for thinking, uh, that was that October was that that long ago. Uh, and yeah, there's not much I can do for dropping big spells, so we'll just end. We're almost done with this fight. You're almost dead. It just you just hanging on for dear life, ain't you? 
never will forgive you for that simple mistake that anyone could have made. I know, I don't deserve it. I am an atrocity. I should be ashamed forever making such a mistake. Aha! Okay, they're all dead. Excellent. That are you want to pop a uh, mass healing word, please? Uh, you got you got a good amount of spells. Excellent. Yeah, I'll be good for a little bit. Should I deep clean my keyboard? Yes or no? Hmm. <laughs> Fucking called out. Damn, Nightbot just did not hold back there. Uh. All right, we'll take that, take that, and we'll read this. Uh. Jeez, Lacketh is pissed off. And yeah, we don't need that. Hold off one key last night. There were so many hairs. Big sad. I get that. I uh, so what I did recently was I my partner has you know obviously needles for um, sewing purposes. So I took that and I just kind of like was running my running it between the keys and essentially pull like so a little bit of a little gross TMI. Um, I shed uh, you know my eyebrows a lot because I have very bushy eyebrows and so they just kind of you know fall into the keyboard so I I went or I cleaned that out and like it wasn't too bad but it was definitely like a, oh yeah this is I should probably keep up on this a little bit more often otherwise I'm gonna be clicking my keys and it's gonna not go all the way through fell <laughs> you fell into the keyboard uh, that that doesn't sound good through here all right I uh, will save Actually, we should probably go loot some more before we head back. Didn't really loot all the stuff. It's been a while. Let's have a look. I gotta remind myself. Take that, take that. That one person left alive can uh, relay their failure to their queen. Loser. Looked like there was a chest back there. I was just like, wait, what? Alright, and then I think there's just your body left, right? Yeah. Eh, nothing really useful. Uh, da, 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 da. Anything up here? Eh, I don't know. Alright. Let's get to the next area. Act three, here we come. In the interim, drink some potions. And drink. Ah, eh, I'll drink that one too. Honestly, I probably just drank that one first. Zero six. The hell is that? about to progress your adventure. Once you move on, you may not be able to return. So, yeah. Thing to note, whenever you're moving on through this game, there are points of no return. So, if you're not sure you've done everything or you want to do everything, make sure you don't go past these points. There is some exceptions to the rule. Like, uh, when you go to the Mountain Overpass in Act 1, to where the Gith Yankee crashes, that one isn't a lock-in as far as, like, Going to that area is going to screw you over out of other stuff. Um, nor is the Underdark. But um, if you leave the Underdark or leave the Mountain Pass and go to the Shadowlands, that'll lock you in. Much in the same way that once you go to Baldur's Gate from here, you won't be able to come back here. But we'll get to it. The yeah. Has been lifted. The lands cleansed of the shadows. Catherick's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this, at least, you have triumphed.
We did it. Honestly, that was really... I've been popping my keys off. Sorry for the 06. No worries. I was just confused what it was. But honestly, that was very a nice somber moment right there. Based upon the fact that we fucked up. Sup, bitch? Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow... And tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Absolute psycho. The berries. So small. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Yeah, so that somber moment getting to see the Shadowlands heal and um, Should mind my return to like a healthy environment again is really good for this group based upon the fact that we fucked up and a lot of fucking people died. Like it was, it was not good. Now the question is, who the fuck is Halson? Like, he should be here now. Like, we'll talk to people, but... All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Hmm. Yeah, we're fine. There's Dame Aelin. Carlax here. Uh, let's see. I'd like to figure out where everybody is. Makes you find Withers is hanging out here. Someone's got a 
thing they want to talk to me about, apparently, so... Seems like Withers! Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou yeah, you say the same thing. Okay. No, thank you. Have a good day. Oh, Starion wants to talk to us. Okay. And nothing up here. What's going on, Astarian? The gate is closed. As is Casador. And we are no closer to knowing why that bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. Hmm. Got anything? Any leads? I think we should track down my fellow spawn. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them, we can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. Hmm. Any idea where they'd be? Unless Casador's changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Said that weird. Uh. Okay, so not. Olsen! Excellent! Hey, buddy! Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is strong enough to endure. But her path will be easier with our support. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Should we? Should we? Hmm. Well, we'll cut. We'll 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 talk about this later, Halson. I just wanted to make sure you're here, alive, and okay. I don't think anyone else has anything to say, but we'll just check with Carla. For your thoughts. Uh, nope. Alrighty, let's get a long rest in because apparently we have to. Gotta just come the here and the last day finish uh, without doing the long rest. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the elder brain will not answer to the chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Hmm. Like, well, we'll figure it out when we get there. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Well, that's not good. Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. Ah, uh, joy. Okay. All right, you guys got this then. Uh, how far can I get? The way I go. We'll take care of it. Hiya! Easy. That doesn't look good. That thing's about to blow. <laughs> it's 
so extra with the fucking martial art moves. That's a problem. Help me. I'm under attack. All right. Hiya. Why are there intellect devourers in here? You will be cleansed. Excuse me? How do you know that? I'm not even really a friend of Gake. Me and, me and Sven just get along. But hey, you monks too. Guess what? I can do that as well. Uh, eh, I'll hold off on unleashing everything. Oh, yeah, you can save? Well, we'll just beat you in a submission then. No, I'm not going to use them. And a stab. No. Eh. We'll just stay here. All right, everyone, move in. Right, I'm gonna have everyone jump in because I I thought they would follow me, but they did not. All right, here we go. My turn again. Hiya! No. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste all my key points just yet. And then you're up. Step stab. Ooh, no, I'm not taking that crit. All right, we'll hold off on raging. Oh, you bitch. There we go. Uh, hit you with a guiding bolt. Hiya! Good hit. And we'll move forward then. Still breathing despite everything. Yeah, we're fine. These monks ain't got nothing on us. Come to the skull. We're coming, we're coming! Calm down! Hiya! Come to the skull. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else see what I see? I'm gonna save real quick. What? Who the fuck are you? Fuck are you? Are in danger. Oh shit. A mind flayer. The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. 
It's a little weird. Hmm. Hmm. All right, prove it. You saved a child from a viper back in the druid's grove. You saved the Asuna Night Song from her soul cage. You let me live last time we were here. Though it brought Blackheath's wrath upon you. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind player should be all the proof you need. Mm. Now, help me. <laughs> so here's a qu here's a thing we are fine with I would say yeah how do we help the god destroy the god they prevent me from subduing their master do it now all right. Together, we can turn the tide. We have no reason to affiliate with Githyanki at all. And it's not even because we don't like them, but it's just... Lazelle's not here to be an influence in that. All we've been doing is fight them. And clearly we have no reason to necessarily deny that... Um, they are going to help us. Ah, so that's how he does the technique. Uh, so we just gotta start beating the shit out of him. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Uh, nah, we'll not. I'm not gonna unleash everything. Not yet. Okay, make it a move around. And add prox. Okay. I'll let that do its thing. Alright. We'll let the ad go through and then we'll continue. Okay, that should be done. We're ready to go. Sven, we're going up here. Yeet. It's honestly amazing when you don't have to uh, care about gravity. Uh, nah. We'll hold off on that. Uh, sure, I'll try to stun him. Ah, uh, damn it. Haha! <laughs> uh, no, you don't. Hmm. Sure. Ah! Uh -huh. Well, uh, Sven just died. <laughs> That's not good. Uh. 
Let's see. He will Hunter's Mark you. And where is Sven's body? Up here. Okay, we'll have to do a revivify on him. Uh And we'll do a level two guiding bolt. Yee ah. Okay, move on in. Want to revive Sven, please? Okay, Will, you're up. Ah, shit! I forgot to take this off. Fucking damn it. Uh. Okay, I'm taking that off. And yeah, we'll just leave it at that for now. And pop, pop. Oh, can't hit him. Wow. Come on, Will. All right, we'll get you. Get you over here. Very least, we can have you in range to do a revivify. Sven's dead. Let's rage. Time to beat the shit out of him. One, two. Excellent. Ow. No, you don't. Ha. All right, spirit guardians. Get some necrotic going. Wait, seriously? I didn't move out of. Oh my god! I I cannot tell you how many times that's happened where the game is just like, oh, you moved out of range and does an opportunity attack. Like, <laughs> like seriously. I didn't move out of range for an opportunity attack. That is bogus. <sighs> All right. Well. Hey, we've got a friend now. Augusta sent me something. Real? Okay. Uh, all right, where are our revivify scrolls? Here we go. Cast. Okay. Get Sven back on the field. There you go, buddy. He'll be fine. Uh. We'll hop over here this time. Oh. Stillness of mind, eh? There you don't. Okay. Get you. Fuck you. Too heavy. God damn, how are you too heavy? Is it because I'm full up on stuff? Is that why? No, I'm barely carrying anything. Interesting. Nope. Lord. Okay. So Sven, we need... Oh, well, we can't do anything. So we're just gonna go over here and hide real quick. Take that. No, sure, we'll collect some stuff. Alice. The hell? Fascinating. 
Alright. Uh, let's get a mass healing ward off. Did it seriously not hit Sven? Why? Uh. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Why is this? No, oh, out of sight. Okay. Too bad I can't aim it up. Uh, just cause and we'll move back. We'll unleash a leash level one. Hiya! Damn it, Shadowheart! Well, we're working on it. Thank you for the hug, Chef Dan. I appreciate it. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna pop this. And... Shove. Hiya! Didn't work. Oh well. Fuck off! Oh, you're still alive? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Garlack? Garlack? Okay. Let's see. We gotta... We gotta unleash. Hmm. Fuck off! Boom! Ha-ha! That's right. And let's throw something. What we got? Have any explosives? We do. That's Eat shit. Wow. Seriously, no damage at all, eh? Fuck. state, fullness, that doesn't really help me, hmm, well, we'll just take a superior healing potion, drink that, and pop that, boom, let's go, uh, <laughs> we got the fucking hysteria. Oh, well. Okay, you're dead. That's good. Alright. Eat the shit out of you. Seriously? Seriously. 88% advantage hit, and we still miss. <sighs> okay, can we heal everybody? Carlac? Not in range. Okay. Uh, healing word. We'll pop a level four healing word into you. There. We're working on it. Got the high ground. Step, step. Nice. Okay. Yeet. 
Taking you down. Sure. We'll go all in. Nice. Alright, we did it. Thank you. Okay. That was too close. Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Okay. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. Hmm. <laughs> I prefer the other version of you. Hmm. I'll put the vote out. And we haven't had a vote for a little bit. Hmm. Take a quick hydrate real quick. We prefer the other version of you. You attached to a mere disguise, but you judge without even knowing me. It's not really judgment, it's just like preference. I said before, I'm just like you. Yeah. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers. On a search for treasure, to a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. Yeah. Hello, little me. For years, I served the Elder Brain, the one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free. And started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmay. We formed a partnership. And through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People refer to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home. And brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. 
It has the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Elithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blacketh wanted his power, but refused. And so she sealed him within this prison. His honor guard, ever loyal, followed him in. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. Interesting stuff. So, have you been imprisoned here too then? No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prison. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Hmm. What happens if Orpheus is free? That would be a terrible idea. The Ask moment him. he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid. A sworn enemy, just like me. Certainly are different from other mind flares. I appreciate that. But this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance. I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Hmm. Why is that? We kind of like how we look. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent Alithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. <laughs> if you let me, I 
can evolve you. Hmm. Hmm. So if you can do it, why can't you stop the it? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well, the limited form you have. But you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Hmm. At the very least, what would it entail? You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. Wasn't the question. There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most of your current form. Oh. And you will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived. So wait, I still get to we still get to look like ourselves? Hmm. One second. Let me think about that. Hmm. Question is, do we go through it? Go through with it. Get to keep our amazing looking selves. Get more power. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Well, suddenly brave of you. I'll say that much. You continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly something special. <laughs> Now, hold out your hand. Okie dokie. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. <laughs> Eat it. What is it? Tadpole. Nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane. Cocooned here for millennia, it has become extraordinary. Here, let's uh, let's let's talk to it. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. Mm. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. Ooh. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Oh, shit, my your eyes. Your has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. You are exquisite. Oh, thank you. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. We mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain, and bring it under our control. Raced it. Half a, half a lithid. Fuck yeah! Alright, I'm guessing no one wants to talk right now, but I'll still... Whatever it is, save it for now. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see. <laughs> we get so much more. Oh man, there's one thing I want to look up because I don't know if I can. Uh, 
shit. Hmm. Okay. So maybe once we talk to her at another point, we can do it. But I'm not sure yet. But yeah, we got fucking access to everything now. Let's see. Uh, well, not everything, but you know what I mean. Let's get a fucking upgrade over here. So we have access to fly now. Nice. Got mind blast. Uh. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's going to make us more dangerous for convincing now. Fuck yeah. All right, anything on you guys? No. All right, we'll save. We'll head out. Yep. Oh, man, good shit. All right, good job, team. Everyone here? On my way. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. We'll be fine. Okay, Will, how you doing, buddy? By Balder and Bones, this is a lot to take in. Let's see if I've got this right. One, we've been carrying a mind flayer around with us this whole time. Mm -hmm. Two, it's been appearing as someone else in our dreams, mm -hmm. cajoling us to embrace our new illithid talents. Three, the Mind Flayer's been siphoning a Gith Yankee prisoner's powers to shield us from the Absolute's voice. Did I miss anything? Hmm. Hmm. It's like you forgot about the details about, about uh, Baldur's Gate. How could I forget? One of Baldur's Gate's most distinguished figures, a Mind Flayer's ally. Sensational tales, aren't they? Almost unbelievable. With a narrator so unreliable, how do we tell fact from fiction? Got I can't feelings. I have the answer, but I know the Elithids write about one thing. It holds our fates in its talons. Until the absolute falls, there's no getting rid of it. Hmm. Uh, let's see. You know, you're pretty mad right now. I'm, you know, in all honesty, you must have been mad when your father threw no, you out. Never. Oh. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. And Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Hmm. All right. I just realized an ad was going on, so I apologize for that. And should be done in a second. Okay. <laughs> you miss him? More than you know. Aww. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell touched warlock he returned to. All right, let's go check on everybody else. Shadowheart, how you doing? So, there's been a mind flare inside the artifact or astral prism the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore. Nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Mm. Oh! 
<laughs> we'll talk about this later. I'm going to let... So, the thing in my head right now, and the thing in Sven's head, is we're not going to just convince them to do something we just did. Like, for all we know, this this could be a bad idea. Let's see how things go. Nothing much, Carlac. We're just checking in. Doing the rounds, you know? Uh, Starion. Oh, are you not here? Uh, is everyone asleep? That's why. All right. Well, long rest it. You know, it's actually a good thing we did already do a pretty long rest. Otherwise, uh, we would have had a rough time doing that fight. All right. Save. Shadowheart, what's up? Be honest. What do you think of the new look? What new look? It's like, I love it. Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Uh... Alright, we'll talk about it later. So, uh, anyway, uh, just real quick. Shadowheart's new look, everybody. She looks adorable. Yeah, I should. I really need to remember to turn on the, uh, like, hide stuff. Hide during dialogue, yep. Uh, I'll right, check in with Will just to see. Actually, no, we'll check in with Carlac to see if she has anything new to say. Um, cause sometimes the, like, that's the thing that you really got to pay attention for when you're doing dialogue is you have to talk God, to people. Heart looks like a stack of gold. <laughs> Never thought I could get so excited about someone's forehead, but here we are. <laughs> cause it's like, they're not going to tell, like notify you every time they've got new dialogue. And so you really got to think it to yourself. Okay. Are these people going to have something they were going to want to say? And so, you gotta really open up to them. Oh, we have a new look for a new shadow heart. Nice as it is, she still doesn't have the best hair in the camp. I mean, so did you hear anything about this? Don't look at me like that. I know what you're going to say. Oh, do you? The answer is no. No. Okay. <laughs> Like, I'm surprised. That was before I knew the cost. Before I knew it meant transforming into some grotesque beast. Oh, that's rude. I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. Like, okay. No worries, man. Last the tuples, it will be different. But right now, that mastery depends on an illithid and its gift Yankee slave. Okay, well, said we drop it. I'm not going to submit to this. Don't ask me again. I didn't. Jeez. Said we were drop it. No need to be so pissy. Why are you always in an upset? Actually, I want to see. Do I have? No, I don't know what his uh, thing is. Olson, how about you? You guys, you missed out on a lot last night. When I first met you, saving yourself from seromorphosis was your greatest wish. And yet now, you stepped closer to embracing it. I mean, it really I trust wasn't. your leadership and respect your decisions. But I truly hope this is not something we come to regret. Hmm. Like, we, we're all good, Halston. It really wasn't a goal at the time. Go check in with Dame Aelin. Sorry, I know we've been doing a lot of talking this episode. That's the that's what happens when you're at the end of an act. My resplendence honors yours. Mm. So how do you intend to I spend your freedom? From my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. Uh oh. I will help. Ah, uh, headset is dying. One second. Okay. 
Alright, we'll catch up later. And uh, we'll talk to Will as well, just to see if he has anything new to say this morning. I just still say that. Love Shadowheart's new look. Softer, less severe. It suits her. Hmm. Okay. All right, leave camp. Loading, loading, loading. Keep them da 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 da. We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh. Well, keep an eye out. What we can to find them. What they know could help us. Okay. I can't find my mom. Okay. Where's last year? She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Hmm. Here. Oh, um... Thank you so much. I don't have anything, and you can't do anything without any coin. I'll pay you back when I find my mum. Uh, she's probably dead. All right. Where do we want to go? Like this. So this is where a lot of people get overwhelmed with Baldur's Gate Three. It's like. There's so much going on, you gotta ask yourself, well, what do you want to do? So... Hmm. Let's start over here. Will, you're up. You take lead, in all honesty. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these squatters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Hmm. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. Zenobia and I are just navigating a slight contractual disagreement. Not that it's any of your concern. Hmm. So have you tried talking? Agreement? Why should I negotiate with the vermin who've stolen my house? I've got nothing to say to them. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking Will. All right, Will. You gonna let you gonna let some dickhead be a jerk? Ooh, man, this is a this is a high one. All right, let's see. Will Eagle splendor it. Will Dark One's luck hit it? 15 for a 30. Let's go, Will. Fuck yeah. Fine, fine. They can stay. Just don't blame me when they turn on you like the mongrels they are. Says you. I respect your hustle, sweetheart, but it won't work on me. You've stepped on the guild's toes, and we'd like a little something to make it better. The Guild, a loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contracts. <laughs> Will, why do you look scared? 
Like, or what are you gonna do? I'd say you'll live to regret it, but honestly, I'm not so sure you'd live. Hmm. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Honestly, you're nothing to us. Yep. Like, bring it on. Natty 20, let's go. Let's go, Will. Show these upstarts who they're fucking messing with. You're serious. Let's forget this unpleasantness ever happened. Damn right, bitch. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. All right. Good job, Will. You actually handled that quite well. Here we stand a chance. Hello. Heartless scum. I'm a reasonable woman. We could easily work something out in a house this big. I'm not quite sure why you stood up for us like that. But I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. And may Torm keep you. Hmm. So what happened? Same way lots of us did. Trying to get away from the army of the absolute. If you had the chance to put a roof over your family's heads after being on the run for Torm knows how long, wouldn't you? Oh, easily. We will stay. For now. I just hope he doesn't pay anyone else to come sniffing around. Thank you. And may Torm keep you. Like you're welcome. The first person in this city to have our backs. Thank you. Really. See, Will. This is what I'm talking about. Thank the gods. I was sure we were about to be evicted. All right, Will. You you know this place pretty well. You like show us around, buddy. How the fuck is there a ghoul over here? Who the fuck is it? What is this, Will? Stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. How dare you? What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. A circus in town? We gotta go, we gotta go! A circus? <laughs> Thank you, Carlock. Hmm. Uh. Will's more concerned about the ghoul. Oh, uh, this is Benjamin. Say hi, Benji. Mates! Benji here checks all our patrons to make sure none of you are vicious murderers. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Hmm. A lot of murders? haven't heard. The Absolute's cronies have been busy chopping people up like it's going out of style. They won't go near us, of course. Lucretius Bringer of Night protects us. And even the Absolute knows better than to tangle with a necromancer. You're a necromancer? But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. All right. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <laughs> Brain juice smells like piss and iron. <laughs> no like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. What? Well, you better let us in. Get us in. Hmm. Hmm. 
All right, come on, Will. You're persuasive. Get us in. Hey, ah, sixteen. Let's go. Easy peasy. Twenty-five. Oh, damned if I'm <laughs> a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Yes. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show, Tribbles the Clown. Move, Will. It's like we go first. All right, we're gonna save. Ooh, what do we do first? What do we do first? <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. Let's see. Let's see. What's first? A mummy. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Dan. Appreciate it. Honestly, that was perfect. The fact that I was like playing the tadpole more for Sven, but then Carlac playing me, I was just like, yes, I love it. It's like, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me, friend? Uh, we'll guidance it. 12 for 13, nice. You realize she is mining putting on face paints. She has them to sell. It's like, yes, please. What you got? What you got? Uh, red dye, white and scarlet dye, purple dye, peach and apricot dye. Hmm. Can we, does she have a lot of gold I can sell shit to? I can. I love being able to sell anything to any merchant. It's so handy. Leather gloves, leather gloves. Get rid of that. There you go. I'll keep that. Uh, sell that. And sell that. There you go. Finally, we can sell stuff to somebody. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Do, do, do. Okay. We. I'll take it all. Give it all to me. Because why the fuck not? Like, this shit's pretty cheap. And it, da, 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 da. Uh, boop. Oh, these wells are pretty expensive. Oh, well. Uh, sure. Okay. You have a good amount of gold now, which is excellent. Now I'll sell the rest of the stuff to you. Sell, sell, sell. Keep that. Sell, sell, sell. Uh. Oop. There you go. Skull. Uh, topaz, excellent. Uh, the iron flask is useless now, as far as I'm aware, but we'll hold on to it just in case. Anything else? No. Alright. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay. I want to combine with everything. Fine. And we shall combine. Uh, boop. Fine. Fine. Oops, shit. Uh, can I have this? No. Wish there was a more efficient way to do this. Instead of, like, doing it one at a time, you know? Okay. Fine. Hell yeah! We got some color coordination now. Excellent. Thank you. Right. All right, you can go up to this one. Approach. 
How fucking dare you? <laughs> yes, behold, Akabi's wheel of wonders. Spin to win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. Hmm. What can we win? Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. Hmm. Guy's kind of a jerk. No more questions. Spin or don't. Hmm. Like, nah. The carby pities you. Be gone, miserable one. So rude. Worthless treasure crates. So much good stuff. Uh. How much money do we have? 1,413 gold. Definitely did spend a lot there. I was kind of going for, um. Well, actually, hold on a second. We'll be back. Uh, where is the chest? There it is. Alright, you want to grab our stuff? What the hell? What's this? Uh... Oh shit, Arball dipped. Go talk to Withers in a second. Okay. Hey. Like. Thank you. Pop that over. Okay. Can I? <sighs> okay. Open. Carlac. Inventory. <laughs> I'm struggle busting right now with this shit. That, do that. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's grab all of this stuff. And we're gonna sell. At least sell what we don't need, you know? Um, camp supplies, camp supplies, camp supplies. Backpack. Now that's where all the magical weapons went. Uh, yeah, and shift, I said shift, there we go, and type, and we're going to do this, how much is this way, 160, Apparently not. Uh, Alright, I'll... I'm gonna sell the rest of this stuff, but I'll take care of the rest of it later. Actually. Where's Withers? Carlag has a bone to pick with Withers. Ha! Bone to pick. Withers! Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Hmm. The girl could not bear thou, a breaker of promises. I told her the fate of her parents when the wind carried it to me. She has left this place to hew a new path. What do you mean, breaker of promises? She you a letter. Thou couldst read it, or thou couldst not. Such is the way of autonomy. 
Hast thou other business? Hmm. Calls us a breaker of promises, and yet, uh... We did what we could. Yeah, so we... Uh, yep. Cool. Alright. Head back. Alright, we'll go talk to this person again. We're not actually here for face paints, we're just selling all of our remaining junk. Sell, sell. Get some of that money back, you know? There we go. Getting a good chunk of change back. Sell these. Sell that. Oil. Bones. Toy. Still have no idea what that is for. Sell these. Miss some stuff here. Uh, sell that. Don't really need that anymore. Boop, boop. Uh, here, you want some rotten tomatoes? Rotten mushroom? Don't need these. Green axe. That. And, uh, Insufficient gold. Okay, we got all of our gold back. Excellent. Alright, thank you. Add proc, so we'll wait for that minute to go. Alright, we should be back. Let's get back to it. Sven, we're gonna try something. Hmm. Shh. We are gonna go into Sneaky Sneak. Somewhere. Go over here. Huh? Shit, I'm in the I'm in open. So we're gonna try to steal a copy's ring. He's a cheating son of a bitch. Up red hat. Okay. And What are you looking at? Yep. Alright, we're gonna go into turn based mode. Moving, moving, moving. Keep them hoggies moving. Alright. Hide. And we're gonna keep on moving. Uh. And turn. Alright, eh, we'll just. 
beast out of it. Pickpocket. And... Yeah, let's go. Do, 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 do. I did it. All right, Carlac. Go ahead and give it a try now. The spongy mortal returns. Spin the wheel and change your fate. Go ahead. Let us see if you have luck's favor. Hmm. Ho ho! Possible. Jackpot! Thief, you cheated. Hmm. What are you talking about? Enjoy the jackpot, Muley Kurt. What the hell? That genie. Where am I? What? What? <laughs> Hold up. Did we at least get something? No. That son of a bitch. Uh, okay. Hold up. Hold the fucking phone. Hold up, hold up, you son of a bitch. Akabi is tired of the Wheel of Wonders. He is now close. No, 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 no. You, you motherfucker. Bring back Karlak! You son of a bitch! Well, I suppose Karlak's uh, on her own adventure now. Oh, I see the portal. Okay. Hmm. Man, we got some, got some shit to deal with. Dinosaurs everywhere. Hmm. I'm really curious what all is in here. I'm nothing. <laughs> Sorry, Carlac. I didn't realize he was gonna send you to this plane. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Good, he's leaving. Is there anything over here? Yeah, I've never actually been to this area before. Hmm. How many people has he sent here? Can we make the jump? Can. Oh yeah! Alright. Activated. <laughs> We're hunting rabbits. Okay, hold on. Can we do this? Ah, oh, too heavy? Damn it. Alright. Always too heavy. What's with the, the heavy? Oh, didn't see me. Take some fucking damage to do. All right, hiya! Ah, my knees. Pick that up. All right. Ah, <sighs> I like <laughs> what? It's the uh, it's <laughs> letting me back out to the outhouse. Bastard. Everyone, we're over here. I got something. Drop. Is there anything crack it open? Well, 
I think we got this. 16. Or 23. Let's go. What we got? Ooh. Narunal. Can Will wield tridents? Hold on. Can Will... Can he wield tridents? No. Will, you're useless. Can I wield tridents? No. Hmm. Well, at least we got it. Maybe the next feat I get, I'll give I'll give him an upgrade. Well. Hi. Is your camp drab? Dreary? Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke stony and bony creations. Or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought after service. Oh. <laughs> uh, what you got? Oh, you shall be thrilled and delighted. I know it. Uh, flesh to stone, stone skin, all stone. Yeah, we don't really have use for these. All right. Is there anything else we could sell? Yes. Here you go. Here's that for you. Uh, sell these. Uh. Sell that. Sell these. Ah, uh, not enough. A hundred gold. Damn. A thousand for that. Holy shit. All right. Nothing caught your eye. I shan't tell my wife. She'd be most upset. Well, hold on, hold on. I want. What about the statue of my likeness? Ah, the adventurer returns. Care to purchase a bespoke stony and bony creation? It's like, how much for a statue? My wife shall be Damn! Customs are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours. What's that supposed to mean? I don't got well, enough. Then feel free to browse our workshop, but be quiet. My wife is at her creative zenith, and I do not wish her to be disturbed. Hey, fair enough. Come on, guys. If we get a 5,000 gold, we got we got to get a statue of our likeness. Like, that's just fucking amazing. All right. Hey, there. Oh, oh. Hungry little hobgoblin. Want a treato? Excuse me? I have lots of treatos and magics and junks I finds. Uh, don't worry. I only takes junks from dead people. Mm. I is nice. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I has lots of stuffs just for you. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'll get that. And we'll leave it at that. Thank you. Bye bye now. Come back to Papa soon. We'll need that hound eventually, or that the hound, that hand eventually. Hi. Ah, Lucille, it's Pose Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jake, you have the grace of my great grandmother's missing leg. Ah, <laughs> and Boris, Boris, put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. Hmm. Like, hi. Interrupting a massacre. Merkel, help me. These three make the art of dance look like a ritual sacrifice. Oh. 
Call me Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. I could get down with that. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage. But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. Can we have some wine later? I'd be down. All right, let's go check out other acts. Do not stand too close. The flames have a life of their own. Okay. Let's see it. Ooh. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> I don't know how to... I wish I could do emotes. I don't know if you can, or if you can, how you would do it. Uh, let's go speak to everybody. I silver tongue at your service, or I will be once my set is done. Why do they call you Silver Tongue? Not now. I must provide musical support for Miss Silver Tongue. Okay. But we don't got a bard. What are your thoughts? Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing. Hmm. Oh, we're here now. Shula has devoted her body and soul to Elmata. Find her at the open hand temple. Okay. You feel a chuckle coming on. But it seemed fast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, lo I love that I discovered that amulet in, uh, in another playthrough so I could uh, find it. Is there any... Oh! There's you! I want to talk to everybody before we go to the main event. For reasons. Don't worry guys, trust me. Hi. This city of storm and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here. Damn. Until now, your eyes stare out. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, man. Fuck. This is a hard one. Straight up, though, whoever designed this uh, dryad, damn. Respectfully, damn. Like, I love the, uh, uh how to, how to, the words to describe. I don't know what it is, but there's always this thing about like the the glowing green eyes and just the like the spread of arcane power throughout the body. Like there, it's there's something so powerful about it, and there's just something so attractive about it. Um, so like, damn. Uh, let's see. This is a hard one. Because, like, Sven isn't one to say, like, they don't love anybody. Because, you know, they love it fully. They they love the aspect of life. Uh, but they're not so self-centered to only care about themselves. Like, you could, in some ways, you could consider them that way, the way they behave. But it's not... They wouldn't declare it in a, such a selfish manner. Ah, <sighs> man. Hmm. That's a hard one. Like, I'll put the vote out for Tadpole Influence, but I gotta think about this one.
Alright, I'm gonna go with uh, I Have No Time For Love. I think that is the most authentic way I can have Sven say it. Love blossoms in life's furies. You have formed bonds in this time, have you not? Trust. Respect. These are the clothes that love dresses in. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. Hmm. Oh, boy. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Shadowheart, what do you want? Like, you want to know? Just for the lulls? Love, is it? I didn't realize I'd bowled you over that much. Give it a try, then. Impress me. Yeah, just curious. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. So peaceful. Hi. I see you. I see the bond between you. So tender. So fragile. But do you see it for yourselves? Shadow heart. An endless storm surges behind sharp eyes. Listen. Think. From where does Shadowheart draw comfort on a cold, dark night? <laughs> Booze. Hmm. Judging others. Uh. Hmm. Well, from our past experiences, good company and an even bent better vintage. Well put. Though I'll forgive a middling wine so long as the company makes up the difference. Tip, 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 tip. <laughs> Hear how your bond thrums with pleasure. Strong, vital, pulsing with affection. The heart craves comfort. But needs respect. How does one earn the dark haired maiden's respect? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the heart craves comfort but needs respect. How does one earn the dark haired maiden's respect? Hmm. Oh man. Yeah, she's... Respect is about, about judgment. Not completely off the mark, but there's easier paths into my good graces. <laughs> tip, 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 tip. Now hold up, hold up. This is a two-way street. There is hollowness between you. Something brittle and strained. We must dig deeper. Grasp the pain hiding within. Shame sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Shadow Heart, what is her deepest shame? Ooh. Oh, fuck, I do not know. Hmm. Fuck, I don't know. Put the vote out for this one. I don't remember. Can Shadowheart swim? Hmm. I guess she can't swim. 
She can't swim. I didn't think a little game would sting so much when I agreed to this. But you're right. I know you too well. See? I pay attention. You didn't do abysmally, I suppose. That's worth something. Oh, hold on, hold on. Where's where's the the back and forth here? Your bond is false, and I know why. Because your heart belongs to another. Close your eyes. What? And she will show herself to you. Hmm. Oh shit. You're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's throne. <laughs> well. Oh, have you come b b begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. <laughs> oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. I didn't expect that. I got completely caught off guard by that. So Oren is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? I had no fucking clue. That's the first time I've been caught off guard. Hey, Shadowheart. Orin's little display was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. We need to stay alert all the same. Hmm. Uh... So what about the people that might be watching us? I hope so. So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. Hmm. What should we look for? Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Alright, suppose we'll keep an eye out. Damn, though. You guys see I that? I have battled great evils, been mocked by villains of all sorts. But Orin, she is beyond even Thorn. Her mind is twisted beyond recognition. What is she capable of? And where will she strike next? I don't know. What's your feelings? This is where I first raised a glass in toast at the tender age of 14 and got so tipsy from wine, I puked in Dillard Porter's bushes. It's where the flaming fist chased me after I'd stolen a peach from a cart in the wide. I got a good chewing out over it, too. It's where my peach. father taught me to hold a rapier, to read books of law, to know right from wrong. It's been seven years since I left. It's no paradise, but it's home, and it's worth saving. And you? The city's yours too, after all. How's it feel to be back? Eh. <laughs> Not much. Give it time. It's a city of many colors. Let them wash over you. Expeditions to the continent of Mastika gather in the harbor, where the Church of Gon displays its most priceless treasures in the High House of Wonders. Voices raised in song on returning day, the heady wines at the Elf Song. There's truly no place like Baldur's Gate. Okay. Garlic, how are you doing? You okay? Fucking shapeshifter. She'll try to break our best asset, our trust. Fortunately, she's no match for our second best asset. Me. Damn straight. Well, that pulled, that played with my heart and uh, stabbed some old wounds. Also, Orin was there watching all of that. That was that's a little creepy. Wait, shit. Do we do everything over here? Ah, oh, we didn't talk to this guy. Get over there, Madrash. Well, we'll deal with it. We'll watch the play later. Ah, shit. Bye 
Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Well oh. God, I hate clowns. <laughs> I'm not even sure clowns like clowns. Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? Hmm. <laughs> Boo! Uh. Boo! Uh, you hear? <laughs> Carla, I could well. It's like, come on, man. A Debbie Downer. Boo! <laughs> Thank you to the loud mouth for volunteering for my next trick. Now, where? Oh, where? Ah. Uh, you. The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver hmm. passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. Doris Fenn. Hmm. <laughs> like, fine. Doris Fenn. A round of applause for the stalwart heart. <laughs> just the shame walk, just uh Now, I always tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Excuse you? Tell me, what makes you special? Uh Hmm. Called me a child. All right, we'll wait for the uh, ad to go through, then we'll continue. All right, ad break is done. Sven is very proud of uh, their strength. Boring, boring. Anyone can do that. Uh, no, they can't. You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus in all of Baldur's Gate. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. I don't like the sound of that. Absolute. You sense something behind you. Instinct uh -oh. takes over. Oh, oh nope. All right, bring it on. Okay. Let's see targets. We got enemies to take care of. You and you. Carlac's pissed. How dare you ruin the show? Alright. Not enough movement, really. Damn. Now we do. Come on, Carlac. Show him who you are. Yeet. Let's go. All in. Let's fucking go. Uh we'll get a bleed off on you. Reckless. Nice. And you ain't going anywhere. Nothing will stand in my way. Fucking bitches. Okay. You're gonna fucking stun. That's right. And you're up next. Sorry, doggo. You did nothing wrong. And let's move over here. Hey. Like, praise the absolute. We don't want them fucking hurting civilians, so let's uh, move in. 
Nice. Stunned. Uh oh. No, you don't. Uh oh. Uh, nah, we'll hold out. Damn it. What? Uh. Let's see. All of fire. Okay. Um. Let's get. Let's get some defense up. So that way, we have less chance of them getting to the, ci the civvies. So we'll do that. Okay. And can't do that because that's concentration. Shadow Hearts up next. Stay in the center. And... Alright, please don't run into the fucking uh, fire. Nice. Then we're gonna drop... A Guardian of Faith on your ass. Try to at the very least. Excellent. Excellent. And we'll drop a spiritual weapon as well. I want to see if we can actually save all the people here, because normally they get they can get slaughtered pretty quickly. Okay. Interesting choice. Alright, fuck you, Dribbles. Or should we take out Bitey Bud? We'll take out the dog first. Never mind. Good hit. Alright, take care of you. Too heavy to throw, come on. Nice. Oh, that's why. All right. Sure. Sorry, Shadow Whiskers. You did nothing wrong. Okay. Probably not a good idea to actually do that. What we will do is drop a moonbeam, though. Boop. Excellent. And. Push you. Actually, no, we'll topple you. Down you go. Never mind. Oh, okay, good. I was like, don't you dare attack the civilians. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Good hit. Focusing us. Oh no. Please don't. Okay, I was like, I was really worried that he would run into the Guardian of Faith and get hurt by it. Like, I, that's what I hate about yellows, is um, they can easily get hurt by shit. Uh. Oh yeah, I haven't given you a new weapon. Just punch him in the dick. Hmm. Eldritch Blast. Uh. Pop, pop. Get you in there again. And then turn. Alright, doggo. Uh. Okay. 
Yeah, again, I don't want to use any AoE spells because I'm worried they're going to fucking kill these people. So, we'll do level two. Not dead yet, come on. Uh, and we'll do a mass healing word. Nice. Okay. Fucking stupid ass dinosaur. Fly down. We. And make you bleed. Nice. Excellent. All right, Carlac. We got these bitches to take down. Uh, displacer. Ah, uh, you're you're problematic. Take you down. Nice. Sorry, dinosaurs. You did nothing wrong. Okay. Uh. Pop pop. Nice. Once more. Yep. Excellent. And last one. Okay. Ah, shit! Nice try. Them. Hi -ya! You missed. Shove. Nope. Shadow Heart. Uh, yeah, we'll hit you. Nice. Read that. Hmm. The Cloud Hammer. Cool. Uh, and then we'll get a healing word for Sven. Nice. And we'll just move over here. Bad, we can't fly over there. And take it down. Nice. Uh, and take this down. Excellent. Okay. Drop that. We'll drop that. I killed a clown in front of a bunch of kids. Fair, fair. Anything good? It's cage. Everybody okay? You did a good job. You fight good. Doppelganger, not so good. <laughs> yeah, you did too pretty good well. Quentin, you okay? Can't believe Dribbles did this. The Dribbles. I mean, he wasn't that good. Clearly, he was a poor imitation. You were part of the show at first, but that was real. I mean, I was part of the show until, you know, shit went haywire. You, you started that fight. I, I saw it with my own two eyes. You're a monster! You're stupid. Dribbles? He can't be dead! He can't! No, it's not Dribbles. He took those bastards down like it was nothing. It was amazing. Thank you. See, someone appreciates us. So, uh, you got some splaining to do. Dear, screaming children and oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. What? I thought the absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator, why it's downright rude. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> I don't know, it's a rare treat. That's your idea of fun, darling. You and I are going to get along swimmingly. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus. But I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Hmm. Probably dead. Even better. Corpses are wonderful employees. They aren't picky about things like working from home or eating. Fair. It's like, we ain't cheap. Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck. Because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. <laughs> Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. I don't know. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. All right. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Fair enough. Good luck. And thanks ever so much. Welcome. Well, luckily for you, Sven, I know where his the first piece of dribbles is. Gotta do this real quick. Disconnect. Sneaky sneak. Round we go. And yeah. grab that. And we'll make our way. Display. Yep. Good job, team. Never want to be an easy part. How are you guys doing? Miss Silvertongue says there is nothing to worry about, so there isn't. Carry on. I disagree. Very well. This is Silvertongue. The uh Attack is nothing to worry about. Madame Lucretius has everything under control. Enjoy the circus. I mean, we're the ones who took care of it. Hi, Fred. Ah, scummy ball bag, move! My gods to clean! Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to know what happened to, like, the druid from this sh part of the show, then. I'll have to figure that out. What's up, everybody? We wanted to talk to you earlier. You look a little shell shocked. Worry not. It's nothing a little music can't fix. Hmm. How about you? Please uh, uh, enjoy the circus, which will never be the same without dribble. <laughs> oh, you'll you guys will be fine. Any p other people to talk to? There's you. Could Madame Lucretius let this happen? And what are you doing here? Ad! Just checking in, seeing if anyone saw anything. How could this happen? To Dribbles? To my home? Can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. No offense. And untaken. Okay. Anything else? Back here, no. Hmm. All right. Well, that was a fun circus, everybody. How are you guys holding up, Carlac? Hey, soldier. Hmm. Oh, okay. We will head on out then. I guess we'll talk to these people too. Talk to everybody. A lot of shit happened. Scary shit happened. I have no idea what in the hell's happened back there, but I know me and my kid are standing because of you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. How you doing? Triples is supposed to be nice. Why did he do that? I don't like this. I don't like him. Well, he's dead now, so it takes solace in that, I guess. Did you know about this? You let a murderer in here. How could you let this happen? 
I heard what you did about dribbles. He is, was a good egg. Thank you for making sure no one else got hurt. Welcome, Benji. You're you're slacking. Blood in the circus without Benji. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there, there, Benji. All right. Well, we got to enjoy the circus. So we shall save there. And we will end stream here. We'll do the uh, stream ending thing. So transition that over. Boop. Da -da -da -da. So I will figure out who we're going to raid over to. Hope everyone enjoyed today's episode. I certainly did. It was a lot of fun uh, going through and exploring um, Act 3. Uh, hmm. Let's raid over to Joe Java. I haven't actually raided over them yet. Let's show them some love. Joe Java. Get that going. Start the raid. All right. So, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, episode 18 of the Adventures of Senator Morthos. I certainly did. Again, I'm sorry for kind of the inconsistency with my schedule, but with IRL stuff going on, you know, I'm doing my best. But I hope you all enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Remember to love yourselves and each other, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!